Today for your art assignment, we are making a pumpkin patch full of our very own special pumpkins. You will need some round objects that you can trace to give you a nice circle, a piece of paper, and some things to color with. I'm just going to use crayons, but you can use whatever you have. The first thing you're going to do is start tracing some circles using the different objects you found. I'm going to use this round container and trace around the outside using a crayon. I'm going to try to stay up against the object and go all the way around. If it gets a little wonky, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I have one round circle. Next I'm going to trace this container of um, some jelly and there is another circle then I can even draw my own circles I don't have to do all of my pumpkins as a perfect trace circle I'm going to practice drawing my circles around my whole page so I have the whole piece of paper full of circles and don't worry if they're not perfect they don't have to be because just like we talked about in class um, all pumpkins are a little bit different and some of them look a little strange and wonky So it's okay if your circles aren't perfect after you have your circles you can start coloring in your pumpkins You can color them using whatever colors you want because just like we looked at in class today There are so many different colors of pumpkins. There's blue pumpkins green pumpkins there's red pumpkins some yellow even white pumpkins so there's so many different kinds some of them have dots on them some of them have stripes you could even make a pumpkin that looks like it was painted so I'm going to keep coloring until I have all of my pumpkins colored once you're done you could even add a face to your pumpkin to look like it was carved it could be any kind of face you want Make it a silly pumpkin, a mad pumpkin, maybe a scary pumpkin. Once you're done decorating your pumpkins and drawing them and coloring them the way you want, you can color the background of your pumpkin patch. I'm gonna use green and brown different shades of green to make it look like grass and maybe some dirt in the background on my pumpkin patch but you could color the background however you want to make it your very own pumpkin patch once you are done coloring make sure you take a picture of it and share it on seesaw so i can see your finished pumpkin patch can't wait to see them